Hey, a lot of commotion going on down here. I'm at the World Series, but I want to take you back to the sixth inning. There's three things that happened in this play that I think we need to talk about and dissect a little bit. Cody Bellinger at the plate, bases loaded. First thing he does, he hits a ground ball to the first baseman. Pierce makes the play, makes a high throw to the catcher. So the catcher comes down, touches the plate. Because it's a high throw, he can't clear himself. So now he makes the throw to the first base, and by the time he makes the throw, Bellinger is at the base, bang, bang with the ball. Like I said, there's three things to look at. One, why did the play end up so close? With the catcher going up and coming back down, instead of clearing himself like this, he ends up close to the plate and leaves here, and now when he goes to throw, he doesn't have an angle set as if he'd have got out here and had an angle to throw to Pierce. Now, let me be the base runner. As Bellinger's running down the line, he gets to the line and he's standing inside the base. He's trying to get in line with the first baseman to maybe have the ball deflect off him or impede his view so he can't see the ball. It worked. Now, as the first baseman, Pierce, if I could have cleared myself out here, this is where the catcher would have had a lane to throw. But because they were both in a rush and the throw was coming up the line, he bumps into the runner and the ball went down the line. That was the big play in the game.